Just close your eyes and let them rest. I know it's hard to fall asleep, but do your best. 'Cause there's a place that I go to when I want to hide from all the shades of. super fabulous happy new week and uh yeah i'm literally indoors guys i'm not getting up to anything so i thought today just spend a few minutes with me as i prepare my meals and i chit chat with you a little bit um i'm literally just having something to eat it's been load shedding it's 2 p.m the power just came on yeah it's been load shedding and i'm super hungry so i just want to prepare my meals that i'm gonna snack on this chocolate muffin for now mm. so i'm pre-cooking my food for later so i thought maybe i do this video and chit chat with you on knowing happy mancha a little bit more and it's so funny because i was trying to google um content ideas to do at home because most of the time i'm always out doing content outside i'm not really good with um creating content at home because of talking too much which is something that i i don't do much i really okay so this is going to be one of the first things you will know about happy mancha knowing me a little bit more talking is not one of my best abilities like talking for 15 minutes straight it's not something that I <laughs> I enjoy doing. I don't like talking, guys. I don't know how to express myself. And secondly, I feel like my voice is very squeaky. So I prefer just keeping quiet. Because the minute I start talking and I'm loud, my voice becomes something else. And I hate it. And um, thirdly, it's just my personality. I'm someone who just don't talk a lot. And yeah, so basically, that's the first thing about me, getting to know Happy Mancha a little bit more. Second thing, hold on. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is my meat that I'm going to boil. Um, I want to power boil this meat because it takes a long time to cook, so I want it to be soft and very juicy. So I'm going to boil this. I'm not going to take you through the whole stage of cooking because this meat, I'm going to cook it the whole day and you know, I'll eat it in the evening. So I'm going to add apple cider vinegar to it to help tenderize and kill the germs or whatever is there. So I'm going to add my apple cider vinegar, just three lid of um, apple cider vinegar so I'm going to boil this at low heat I think I'm gonna cook this for about four hours just slow cooking it or even less because um, it doesn't take that long time to actually cook properly so I'm gonna add steak and chop spice this is one of my favorite spices so that it cooks in flavor so i'm gonna add that and then the meat has quite a lot of fat so i'm not gonna add any oil to it so i'm just gonna add salt and then i put the lid over it 
and I'm just gonna let it cook. So guys, uh, the stash that I'm going to have with my meat later on is these. Samp and beans. I love this so much, but I love it cooked locally. Like our traditional way of cooking, this takes a long time. Four to five or six hours cooking samp and beans together. But luckily there's a store called Woolworths here that sells already made. All I have to do is heat it up, add vegetables if I want to, and spices. So yeah, I'm gonna have this with my meat later on, which is in the evening. But obviously I'm going to make one can, it's enough for me. Okay, for now, what I'm gonna make is something to eat now, which I have uh, in the fridge. It's the uh, already made lasagna, my favorite. So hold on. So getting, getting to know Happy Mancha a little bit more. One random thing about me is that I zone out a lot, okay? I could look you dead in the eyes while you're speaking, while you're talking to me, not anyone else, to me, and you would swear that I hear every single word you're saying. No, I zone out a lot. Sometimes I just zone out in my own little corner and, you know, I'm just overthinking. I'm an overthinker but not not that anything is disturbing me it's just who i am i don't know a lot and i find it uh exhausting to talk for the longest time so most of the time i always hide in a little corner to just you know have a wooster moment so second thing is that i zone out a lot anyway guys so this is what i'm going to have for my lunch right now this is lasagna beef lasagna um so i'm it's pre-cooked so i'm just gonna warm it in the microwave so what i love doing so let me check how long i'm supposed to put this in the microwave two and a half minutes i don't think so but okay so what i love doing is i love poking the top of this uh container should i say a container okay i love poking it with a fork just to so that it cooks a little bit better. Ooh, okay. Ooh, it's too loud. Okay, then I put it in the microwave for two and a half minutes and it will be ready to eat, okay? So the microwave is right on top here. So I'm just gonna put it in here and um, I don't know how to operate this thing. Okay, it did three minutes, perfect. Anyway guys, okay, I hope the sound of my microwave is not overwhelming. So third thing you should know about Happy Mancha is that I enjoy going out a lot. Actually, I used to give my mom stress when I was growing up. I used to sneak out at night to go party with friends and she, I used to get beatings of my life <clears throat> when I was like in my teenage years from the age of I think when I was 17, 16, 17, 18. My mom used to whoop my ass okay a lot because I was that naughty kid. I used to sneak out. I used to put teddy bears and pillows under my blankets and sneak out to go party. I understand why she was so overprotective because honey is not safe out there for any young girl child but in my my time I was just like a teenager who was in her zone and I was you know influenced by other friends and we used to just go out and party a lot and that was when I was starting to learn what alcohol is you know we just have you know small cups of little liquor inside and enjoy the parties like the teenage parties and stuff but yeah i was still young but i mean i was growing into a, a lady you know so obviously there is no way i would have managed to dodge that phase of my life you know but anyway yeah i love going out a lot i enjoy it i just love 
being in spaces where people are happy and having fun there's music there is wine wine is my favorite thing i enjoy it so much so if you see me out maybe i'm in your country or whatever don't be shy to come say hello <laughs> i love partying i enjoy it so much it's so funny because the first thing about me is that i'm an introvert and i am selectively extrovert hold on let me check on my food <laughs> Okay guys, my lasagna is cooked. What is this? Okay guys, my lasagna is cooked. So I am going to, ooh, it's so hot. I'm going to open this top ceiling and I'm going to transfer it into my plate. Ooh, it smells so good. Am I going to be able to transfer this the way I want to plate it? <laughs> okay, Ooh, there we go. Perfect. voila this is how it looks guys so i'm just gonna wait for it to cool down a little bit and then i will indulge so guys yeah let's continue my chit chatting <laughs> i honestly don't love talking guys i i'm even surprised at myself when i started this youtube thing because it requires me to talk a lot i honestly grew up not somebody who's who's very vocal and uh it's kind of shocking that i can talk the other day when i did a live if you haven't watched that live please go watch it i'll leave the link on the description below okay uh the other day when i was doing my live after i finished the, the live i called my mom and i'm like who i'm exhausted she's like why are you exhausted i'm like talking one hour straight is not my thing i can't talk that long not even 10 minutes 10 minutes is exhausting but anyway yeah i was saying that i am an introvert i love my own space i'm comfortable that way guys like i don't know if there are any introverts who are watching this right now please do leave a comment down below and let me know what you do in your personal space where like you're introverting you don't want to be around people you don't want to see people you just want to be in bed the whole day or you just want to sit in your couch and overthink or whatever i'm a very deep introvert and i am selectively extroverted i enjoy the company of the people that i am comfortable around uh, people that i know confidently those are my friends and my family i am so open around those people i am bubbly around those people i am just a little bit wild around those people and you can't see that personality if we are not close you can never come across such a personality if we are not that close so that's why i'm saying i'm selective because i am only you know open to people that i hold close to my heart and around strangers i become oh my god i really i'm a capricorn so if you know so much about capricorns or read about capricorns and see that capricorns are very socially awkward but it doesn't mean that like we are mean people or whatever if you get to know if you get to know me let me speak on me if you get to know me uh deeper the more you realize that i'm actually a really fun and easy to talk to person it's just that i'm the one who's not open to people the way you know i'm supposed to be i don't think i'm supposed to it's not like an obligation i'm not open to people like how generally other people would you understand so anyway yeah and the fifth thing about me is <laughs> what's the fifth thing about me i don't like talking on myself i don't like 
like talking about myself because i feel like the people who are closer to me be know me better let me think about it well i have one bite of my lasagna oh it's still hot it's so good it's very creamy I love how savory it is the sauce and the mince Ooh. this is to die for Mm. it's so good if you are in africa head down to woods and get this okay this lasagna is amazing it's really good i love it it tastes so good it tastes so fresh as well it's like you know freshly made that it it was frozen So one of the few things about me is that I enjoy dressing up. I used to dress up like the it girl, you know, like materialistic kind of girls and whatever. I used to dress up a lot. I had the highest heels you can think of. I used to rock heels like a crazy rich woman. And uh, so I think, um, you know over the years okay i've gained a little bit of weight but it wasn't that extra but now because i started traveling i don't have much clothes to change into i have to keep losing clothes and i have to keep buying comfortable clothes enough for uh vlogging i'm not buying the exact clothes which i prefer wearing when i'm in my own personal space you understand so i used to love looking extra and 100 percent exclusively fine and go to restaurants go to clubs travel all that i had the most craziest collection of heels and when i talk about heels i mean long heels like stilettos and all of that and i haven't worn the like those kind of long heels in such a while because they literally i think those heels actually are the cause of why i have a back pain it's crazy like sometimes even right now but now i think it's caused by traveling carrying bags and stuff but when i was in my young years heels were my thing i never used to love wearing flat shoes except if it was a sneaker i'm a little sneaker head as well but heels were my favorite thing and yeah so i still wish that uh by the time i'm done traveling or when i'm settling i can still go back to the real me who loves dressing up nice wearing stilettos and just you know looking fabulous so yeah those are five things uh to know about happy mancha that you probably didn't know and yeah i'm just enlightening you guys i want to finish eating my lasagna i hope you enjoyed this video i'm gonna finish off my cooking for later on and i do hope you enjoy the rest of your day i'm going to make sure that i enjoy mine as well while you're at it make sure that you hit that subscribe button share my videos with your family and friends let them know to subscribe as well we are on the road to 10,000, guys we're almost there we are almost there 10,000 subscribers and more and uh yeah hit on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my upcoming videos thank you for watching from me today it's all what love toodles toodles mwah. <laughs>